Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're looking at Cardano and comparing it to the Wyckoff method. This is something that we have covered from the top on Bitcoin, looking at that first initial crash back in April. And there's something similar that we can compare that time to in with Cardano at the moment. So we're going to take a look at that in a little more detail in just a moment. Also, at the end of the video, I'm just going to go through the Cardano staking pool. Again, I put out a video yesterday explaining how to stake your Cardano. A couple of other questions to answer there, including margin and fees. So stick around till the end for that as well. So if you find some value from the content, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon so you can be updated with the time sensitive price chart content that I continue to publish here daily. Thank you once again, guys. Let's dive in. Over the last 24 hours, we've seen a lot of the majors move up in value. We've seen about 3% on Bitcoin, 5% on Ethereum. Binance has reclaimed position number three over Tether, up 13%. Cardano not doing too much, still sitting around $1.77. Uh, Dogecoin very close to it as well after another Elon tweet. Uh, so that's up around 15%. XRP just scraping through to the dollar. Now the rest of the top 20 is looking pretty reasonable. The only other project that went nuts was uh, Polkadot around 15% and uh, Polygon is still just holding its level at around $1.80. Ah, also Solana up 14%. That was the other one that I was thinking of there, which has had a pretty good run lately from the lows. Now remember Cardano $56 billion uh, valuation here. So $56 billion in the market cap. 32 billion ADA are out there. We will be talking about staking at the end of the video as well. But let's take a look at the price charts. And I'll start with the USD chart, then look at the BTC chart and the ETH chart. If you're unfamiliar with these other charts, make sure that you follow them so you can get an idea of like the strength of the particular cryptocurrency that you're following. So I'll explain that in a little more detail as we look at BTC and ETH. Let's dive across to the USD chart. Currently, this is the main thing. This is the, the setup right here. We are creeping and closing above the 50% level. However, volume is dropping. If you remember BTC at the top, when we crashed through on the 18th of April, we were looking at a very similar bar to this one right here on the 19th of May. So as we do with our plans, we have to stick to what uh, what is basically in the rules. And the Wyckoff method talks about these bars, these days, could be a candle. Anyway, it's the day that changes the market sentiment. And this to me is a very clear sign of sentiment shifting. So this is the 19th of May. So like I did with Bitcoin, I was waiting for $60,500. That never came. I'd say Almost every other YouTuber and Twitter account was talking about Bitcoin going to $80,000 at that time. We were looking at Wyckoff method here and that showed that the market sentiment had changed that early on from the top. And right now we see a very similar thing. So what does that mean? Just means that I'm waiting for a close or multiple closes. Let's start with one uh, above the high of the 19th of May. And that's to show that all of the uh, the investors, everyone that sold out on that day, or at least the, the sentiment of the market, which shifted Cardano into uh, or from bullishness into undecided or uncertain territory, uh, they have been cleaned out of the market. Basically, we have been able to regain that price point and the market has now shifted more into the bullish stage than uncertainty. And right now we're uncertain because we are basically trading under the all time highs. We haven't decided what we're doing yet. There is a slight bias to the upside. We are above the 50%. We are making higher lows, as you can see from the 19th, from the 23rd, from the 29th as well. Currently, we do have a slightly lower low, but very, very marginally. Uh, so if we can get above this level of $1.85 ish and then start to make our way back to that $2 and three cents. That is going to be the real show stopper in terms of getting back to the bullish side. I've got an alert here set at around $2.05 because I just want that extra few cents confirmation. This is where the close was on the 17th. We had that first uh, down day that really threw the market into a slight panic. So that was on the 17th of May. Um, that closed at $2.03 and then we had another close at $2 and then 19th of May happened. So that's why I'm looking particularly at that $2, $2.05 uh, 
that's my basically like safe level. Because you can see here, I'll, I'll show you on the Bitcoin chart as well, volume is just drying up. See, as we, as we start to climb, not much here. Doesn't mean we can't keep climbing on low volume. That would just mean that there aren't as many sellers and there's just few buyers. So maybe there's every, there's two buyers for every one seller. Whereas before we had like 10 buyers for every one seller, which is giving you that volume on, on the increase as we go up. Whereas now we've got less volume. So there's just less people in the market. It shows on social media as well. There's less people watching videos. There's less comments, there's less views. There's just less engagement. And it's exactly what we talked about a month ago, that in these times where they get boring, people leave. These are the times, these are the times you need to be with the market. I'm not saying in the market, as in putting your money in, I'm just saying with the market, because you'll start to see better signals at this time, or at least better opportunities where the lows are, because the signals are actually more difficult at these times, because it's all messy, it's choppy. It's not a time that I like to be trading. So I'll show you that pattern on Bitcoin, so you can see it happened in real time just six weeks ago. This was the day here. If you've been following the channel for at least two months, you know that we've talked about that day on almost every single video. If I'm talking about Bitcoin, I'm definitely bringing up the 18th of April. The top was 60,400 and a few bucks. So 60,500. This was the period here, early May into mid-May. This was very heavy on YouTube, crypto, Twitter, everyone calling for bigger uh, bigger prices on Bitcoin. And Wyckoff said, no, that's not that's not how the markets work. Keep the volume on your charts and you just see this volume petering out, just absolutely getting crushed. This is retail. This is dumb money. Uh, not so smart money. You know, I don't need, it's, that's just the technical term. I know some people get a little triggered, but anywho, uh, dumb money is buying at these levels, retail money. And right here is the lower top, low volume, time to crash because the strength has gone from the market. That's what I'm looking at here again. You can see the pattern forming here. Like if I zoom in, kind of similar to what we're seeing on ADA now. Not to say that it won't go up because we've got lots of big news coming up. I mean, that doesn't mean that the market has to go up with the news. Obviously, we have smart contracts coming out, which leads me into a comment from yesterday as well. I'll get to that in just a moment. But essentially, that's the pattern. That's the day that we're looking to get above. Couldn't break it. Volume down. We're in that uh, that frame of mind at the moment with ADA USD. That's the day we're starting to climb low volume. You can see it yourself. What we don't have is the right hand side of the chart because obviously it hasn't happened yet. So we have to figure out what happens here. What does this mean for your plan? Well, for my plan, I am holding out till we get a break above $2 or we start to test these lows again. And in which case I'm happy to keep buying at these lower levels knowing knowing very well that we could fall a lot further. But I'd rather be buying in cheaper with a fall further and be patient for potentially months until this starts to kick off again to three bucks. Or I just forego this amount, 16, 15% and buy in when I am comfortable, when I'm more certain that the market has turned far more bullish in Ada's case. So that's, that's the way I'm playing Ada at the moment. Looking at Ada... Uh, BTC. We are getting very close to these highs. Again, volume is beginning to drop off. We're getting smaller swings up. Doesn't mean we can't break it. It just means that the market is unsure whether we should break it at the moment, especially with what's going on in the rest of the market. But I feel like we'll probably uh, need a little more time at these levels, probably some more tests of lows and highs and bouncing around. Essentially, it's not sure whether this low should remain. So maybe we have to test it. Maybe we come back, test some of these levels through here come back again, test some of the lows, move up, test the highs again. And that's basically the way the market may play out in this period of uncertainty. ADA ETH is similar. We are hitting the 50% zone now from our top to our bottom. And remember following the channel, we've called these pretty well. I don't say I'm 100% right with anything, definitely not. But when it comes to ADA, I feel like I'm far more in tune with this market and it's allowed me to uh, get closer to the price action of it. Going back to the ADA USD, we called the top here in February. We got that bang on. We got the breakout around the 6th, 5th of May actually, and then broke into the 6th. We got another entry and we got the top again. I made a video on around these days here around the 18th. It's on the channel talking about this was probably the short term top. 
So I just feel much more in tune with uh, Cardano than I do with other markets and which is why I keep coming back to Cardano. Even though I've said many times before, still nothing has been built on Cardano. It's still in vaporware stage, but I like the project. And that leads me to the comment on yesterday's video, which, uh, which I appreciate as well. You know, this type of knowledge would be great to hear more of in your videos. So I'm just looking at it down here. This is just talking about um, smart contracts and what potentially is coming up. Is it a good time to buy? This is obviously a really common question that people ask and I, I'm just explaining what I see in the charts and that's what you're getting with this video today. So I'm saying here, smart contracts are due in about 90 days, end of August. So we're currently early June. I'm saying don't be surprised if they're delayed. If this is delayed, that's normal. This is technology. Things are most likely going to be delayed. So this is tech, most things are delayed. Think about Ethereum. Yes, I know, Cardano's different. You know, different heads running the place. But in technology, it, it tends to be delayed. They, they can't build things as quick. Um, so I'm saying if it's delayed, it'll probably spook the market. Don't get spooked. If you believe in the project and you believe Charles Hoskinson and his team can build smart contracts for Cardano and it will get released, use the spooked times as buying opportunities. That's exactly what I'll do. That happened in Ethereum. It's happened many, many times over where something is delayed, price dumps, sweet, time to keep buying. Price goes up again. You are buying when everyone else is spooked because they are expecting smart contracts to come out. And if they don't, another fantastic buying opportunity. So that's what uh, one of the comments here said, Guy, that's a type of knowledge that we'd love to hear more of in your videos. And I just said, yep, doing another video on that. Quick note, that's my real account. If you've got scammers, obviously stay away from them. Mine has the gray here and you'll see, um, you may or may not see subscribers there. And I'll often just heart my comments so that you know that they're mine as well. So just a little note on the side. So we'll look at staking in just a moment, but just to wrap up on the price of ADA, I think this is a precarious time at the moment. ADA ETH, we wanna see it above the 50% level. This is a very important level uh, with the GAN method. So use your fibs, check out the 50% level. One of the most, if not the most important level to be following. Get a nice little break above the 70,000 zone. ADA USD, a break above the $2 zone. And ADA BTC, a break above the current high at around 5,050. So that is a momentum play. You could get it cheaper, but personally, I'd rather wait to see if we get a fall. I've got an, a cheaper option than to buy. And if we don't get a fall and we get a rise, I'm only missing out on about 10 or 15% of the potential gains there to give me confirmation, which is how I like to trade because I, I trade a little more conservatively. So looking at staking, and this is the staking video from yesterday. So check it out if you want to learn how to stake your Cardano with the Investor Accelerator pool. Now there is a margin and there was a little bit of an uproar about margins down below. People saying that, it's uh, too expensive or it's not right. And essentially I have gone through and done all of the calculations to explain the differences in percentages. A common margin for an anonymous staking pool with no updates, whereas here on the channel, you get Cardano updates every single week. And I talk about the markets, I talk about the price, I talk about where I think highs and lows may be. As you've seen already on the channel, getting the tops, getting breakouts for better buying opportunities. All of this is part of the channel and uh, running a staking pool is a business. Now you're on a finance channel, which hopefully you wanna make money as well to learn how to make money. Now that's what this staking pool does. It makes you money and it makes me money. There's no hidden fees or costs in that. The fees are right here. Now if you use an anonymous staking pool, which is absolutely fine, you can watch all of the free content on the channel and go and put it with a anonymous staking pool for around two, two and a half, maybe 3%. You'll re if you have around 1,000 ADA, you'll receive about 0.731 ADA every five days. So that all of the details are here. Now, if you stake it with the Investor Accelerator, it's at 4.5%, so you'll receive 0.715 ADA. So a difference of about 0.016 ADA every day, which is around 2.7 cents every five days. Now, over the course of a year, that's about $2 at the current price of $1.70 when I wrote this yesterday. So there's a $2 difference per 1,000 ADA on the difference of 2.5% or 4.5%. This one supports the channel, so I very, very much appreciate it. If you do use the, the, the Investor Accelerator staking pool, if you don't and you want to use someone cheaper at 2% to save yourself $2 per year, 
by all means. That's two dollars on every thousand. Now, if you're staking ten thousand, okay, that's twenty bucks. If you're staking a hundred thousand ADA, first of all, you got around two hundred grand, or just short of it. Second of all, it's two hundred dollars. Now, if you're getting information and putting it into your plan, seeing where highs and lows are, I vastly hope that you'll make more than two hundred dollars per year on understanding how to read a chart. At the end of the day, you are most welcome to do whatever you want. This is just in response to people that are continuing complaining about margin fees. So that is my explanation to it. If you still are a little triggered by that, by all means, do whatever it is you feel you need to do with staking pools. In terms of a 2%, 2.5% difference, it's literally $2 per thousand ADA per year. So the triggeredness over $2 per year per thousand is beyond me, as we can see here. It's your prerogative. You guys do what you want. I'm very thankful and grateful for all of your subscriptions and your views and your time watching the videos. I hope you learned something from the, the content. If you do, I'd appreciate it if you took a second out to like it up, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, all of the good stuff. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I'm posting daily Q&As on Instagram. So you can go over, ask your questions. I get back to those on the daily and Twitter. Lots of good stuff over there. Make sure you are following. Get an account. There's a lot of good news over on Twitter as well. So this video, I'll leave a link to it at the end of this one. You can click on that. Learn how to stake your ADA with the Investor Accelerator pool. Thank you once again, guys. I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.